All right, welcome guys. I was on a like eight month to one year hiatus here, but uh, came back trying to get back to the swing of things and the changes and different uh, updates on Fortnite, save the world. And today we're gonna go over the hero loadout and build concept idea for retrieve the data. Um, right now the meta are jail builds. Uh, in case you don't know what a jail build is, it's basically a term used to talk about um, not killing the mobs, but instead delaying their ability to uh, destroy the objective as much as possible. By doing so, uh, it allows you to save a bunch of resources that you would have otherwise expent on very expensive traps, and it's actually more reliable than anything. Um, hopefully, uh, the Save the World team um, for Epic Games doesn't do really anything to change this, not because it's really exploited, but because we should be able to, in my opinion, uh, come up with strategic builds uh, to work around different objectives. And uh, I don't know, I think it's fun doing it that way. Uh, you can't really do it every time. It's actually easier to do this solo or with a friend who is competent because joining a public session always has the risk of uh, putting you in a group with other people that either A, don't know what you're doing, or B, uh, they go around killing the mobs and it just that that will mess everything up so to do this you either need a friend um, or you can do it solo so let's go over the uh, hero loadout real quick i've decided that the best uh, hero to use for this especially in upper level missions is going to be base kyle uh, the reason for this is because of his commander perk which increases building health by 84 percent very very strong build here Team perk, uh, it's fine to do recycling, get some of your mats back, really nothing else that's all, that's, that's all that useful for this one. Your support team is going to be power modulation, healing structures over time for every 10 seconds. Uh, hotfix, building repair speed, uh, increased by 10%. Mega base, uh, increases the connectivity range by 1. Uh, tough traps, trap durability by 17.5%. And your frozen castle, which uh, snares all of uh, mobs that are affected by your base ability by 15%. The gadgets recommended are gonna be slow field and banner. If you're running it solo without a friend, then I would recommend using teleporter pads. And I'll explain that momentarily. All right, so I just popped into my Plankerton. Um, Storm shield uh, capped me at 75 power level, but I just wanna show you guys the basic idea. So we're going to act as though this layer of brick right here is going to be where the data package is going to be dropping in the exact mark. Um, at the end of this, um, this clip, I'm going to show you guys uh, the build in action and the highest level um, retrieve the data for man mission with uh, storm effects and all that uh, and show you actually how it works. But to go over the actual build itself, um, here's the basic idea. So we're going to start off with the putting up the four walls here. And then the we're going to put a uh, brick. You can go ahead and put it all around it if you want. Now, depending on obviously the elemental type or type of storm that it's going to generate, if it's fire mobs or, you know, whatever, uh, you're going to have to change your building material for that uh, to suit that. We're gonna do a little three wall here. And the same thing on the other side. Now inside here, we're actually going to go ahead and I should have already up, uh, crafted these traps. I didn't. So let's make these. So we're gonna go ahead and put three right here. And three right here. We're going to go ahead and put a floor launcher here and here, as well as here, here, and here. I believe we also need one here. So, um, to close off this wall, we're going to put another one here and again with the wall launcher right here once we're on top 
can destroy that wooden structure. Um, whoops. Let me get back up here. Now, um, we do need it to be a little bit higher because that floor launcher is going to launch them up in the air. We don't want them to go anywhere. You're okay to make these walls out of uh, wood, no matter the elemental type, if you want to save on some resources. And we're going to go ahead and destroy that. And um, that's it. We want to leave this part partition opened. We actually also want to leave the partition open on that side. I kind of screwed this up here. Oh, boy. Okay, there. that and this and again you can make it out of wood is fine or you can use brick or metal whatever you choose just so long as your actual structures that are being attacked are going to be uh, uh resistant to the elemental type of the husks so you can already see this sort of uh idea here is that they your data package remember our main box is right here so they come in to attack this they might get a couple hits on it but they're going to be launched up in the air and hit this ramp and go straight into this box right there uh, and that's inside the box. Remember, we have the uh, wall launchers and the... Oh, boy, did I... I have to come back in here and... I mean, you guys know, basically, that this is the idea here, right? And to, uh, if you're inside of it, obviously, you know, just build your ramp to get out. So we got four wall launchers and a floor launcher underneath on the floor. As such. Now, like I said, uh, or like I'll go over, you don't have to use wall launchers in here. You could do a mixture of like maybe wall lights, uh, anything that's going to, again, stop, or even those base speakers that came out recently, anything that's going to not damage, not do any damage to the actual husks, but instead uh, delay them. So you could use a mixture, like maybe two wall lights and two wall launchers um, and the floor launcher, or you could use a freeze trap, um, whatever you want to use for the floor there that's fine as well and we're going to do the same thing to this side here cap that destroy that ramp put this down so that's side one and two covered. Side three covered and side four covered. This is pretty much the design right here. Um, let's put this get up here. So put this here. Some walls right here. And, uh, Basically, after you go and uh, shoot the balloon down, that'll be up in the sky. Just cap that off, and your base ability is going to go right. Well, I can't put it down, but it can go on any of these here, uh, or even on top of this. And then you could also, after you put your base ability down, you can put a little prism structure over that to provide it some extra protection. Uh, and this is it, pretty much right here. Now you want to, obviously, you don't need to actually upgrade any of these. Uh, you can do a tier two upgrade if you're you know, worried about uh, something getting lobbed or destroyed or, you know, depending on the difficulty of your mission, but you shouldn't need to upgrade uh, the wooden structures here. You do want to upgrade, triple upgrade the bottom structures uh, here. Uh, now, what I wanted to talk about, which I can't actually use right now uh, because uh, I'm in my Plankerton storm shield and since the mission is not actually activated it prevents me from using this ability which is a teleporter pad so now normally what i was talking about earlier is you could put one teleporter pad here and basically how you want to play the mission is you stand away from it after the after you activate it you stand away from it allow all the mobs to just go in and start attacking the structure and they'll get launched into these boxes and they'll just get tossed around like a you know like a jumping vein in there right so you can uh, then just repair repair as needed and then uh, you'd have a teleporter pad here and the other teleporter pad you'd want to put down would be right about here on this one right so you can actually uh, you know just kind of swap back and forth you can repair this repair this teleporter pad that would get you to that opposite side there uh, one other thing that I would recommend is actually putting in a uh, a jump pad 
you know, in case you want to get up there, up top there and collect your resources from the base ability. Uh, you really won't do that until the very end of the mission, but it's helpful to have it down sooner rather than later. And also in the very higher level missions, it might be helpful to uh, have either a healing pad or a campfire. Uh, and that's because you have no other way of healing yourself because we're not running Adrenaline Rush. Um, we have no way to heal ourselves, and even with the Survivalist perk, we don't want to kill anything. Remember, that's really important to not kill anything. Now, while you're building the structure itself, it might help to have one of these warding... Uh, yeah, one of these guys out here, Patrol Ward. That'll help for some random husk spawns so that, that you can be left alone for the most part while you're building this. Uh, if you don't have that then uh, you know you just want to make sure that you definitely put these floor launchers down last um, right before the you decide to start the mission and the reason for that is because of any of the random husk spawns while you're building we don't want those to actually go into there because this is going to add uh, more mobs in there that that's gonna um, you know they're going to be attacking the structure and it wears down now the other thing is uh, like I was talking about earlier when you're teleporting back and forth or if you have a friend you would watch this side and he would watch the opposite side and uh, repairing the walls as as needed. Um, the uh, the banner ability is if you happen to see, you know, one of the walls about to go down, you just throw down that banner ability and it will strengthen these walls by an immense amount, uh, practically making them invincible. So whatever side you're on that that is about to go down, uh, just throw down your banner. Uh, same thing with the slow field, right? Just keep in mind that the banner is going to be the better O ship button and your slow field is going to be your mini O ship button. If you're running slow field um, and you were, you know, like with a friend, then you could just throw that down. It'll slow everything down. Um, and that's pretty much it, though. So we'll see this build in action on the highest difficulty four man, retrieve the data mission with uh, storm and, and, and all that stuff. All right, so basically um, running it with my buddy. He's the guy who actually showed me this uh, originally. We were kind of kind of grouped up the past couple of days, and we were theory crafting and you know showing different builds and different repairs and like repair speed loadouts and stuff like that. And uh, joined up with him earlier, and he kind of had this concept coming together. Tossed some uh, upgraded ideas back and forth. Uh, if you do run it with a friend, it might be useful for one of you to run as base Kyle and the other person to run as uh, the Harper chick that gives uh, trap durability. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, it's whatever. We're running the exact same loadout right now. Um, if you don't have any of the heroes uh, mentioned earlier when I went over hero loadout, uh, don't forget that you can go to the collection book at your main screen and recruit them all these heroes that we're currently using should should be recruitable i believe uh even the uh ice king that gives the snare ability if you go to the holiday if you go to uh, um your collection book then go to holiday heroes you should be able to actually recruit him for flux or if you have recruitment vouchers so right now uh this is like i said the highest uh difficulty highest level mission in twine peaks it's a four-man group mission as well so that means uh that the mobs are even more difficult uh it's a fire elemental they've got a bunch of storm shit it doesn't matter what uh the storm um alert things are like even if they were like death bombs nothing's dying so nothing's going to be affecting it um, so as you can see, uh, I went ahead and did that, uh, or we went ahead and did this whole build um, already, and I'm just showing you the effects of it. So the mobs spawned from the start, you allow them to spawn because uh, this first wave of mobs has not died, then no additional mobs are going to spawn and come towards you. So you don't have to worry about like blasters or smashers or anything. Uh, and they get launched in here and tossed around. Um, right now we're just keeping an eye on the walls, keeping him repaired. He's also running banner on his side. Um, like I said, it'd be helpful to put like maybe a healing pad down, uh, something like that. But that's pretty much it. And this, uh, this whole mission just plays out like this and that's really easy. So if you see any kind of four man group mission, retrieve the data that has really good rewards on it, like, you know, 4X raindrops or 4X lightning or whatever it is that you need, 
um, you know, feel free to, to run this build and set up and uh, reap the rewards from that. Uh, super easy. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about really is the mini boss, which should come around like 10 or 12 files. I might fast forward the video. I might just skip it. I don't know. I'm basically commentating over um, me watching this gameplay right now. So, uh, But the mini boss, uh, essentially, you want to watch out for that guy. Uh, there is a chance that he doesn't even spawn at all because of this method. I've seen that happen before where you know it says that there's a mini boss and he doesn't show up. Uh, if he does show up like he does in this mission, uh, just kite him around, you know, get him out of there, um, and uh, you should be you should be good to go. Or you could even kill him if you if you have the strength for it. Uh, but you do want to keep him away from this uh, structure. So just make sure that around the ten or twelve file mark files uh, received mark that you uh, you figure out what to do about that mini boss. Either get him out of here, or get him away from the the whole thing, or uh, or kill him, whichever one you want to do. But at the end, just make sure that you take that jump pad up top and collect your uh, resources from the recycling from the base, and uh, that should replenish most of the materials that you even use for this thing. So hope this helps you guys. I do want to mention that uh, I am sort of back on Fortnite, uh, save the world um, for any of my subscribers from a long time ago. They're still around. Uh, Definitely feel free to uh, check me out on Twitch, and uh, I've got a bunch of uh, theory crafts that I work with. I have a really, really awesome uh, shotgun specialist build uh, that's just insane. Um, I might share it with you guys. I might not. I don't know. But uh, check out the Twitch. Uh, see the uh, video description for details on that, uh, on how to uh, find me there. And, uh, you know, we also have like a little discord kind of inactive, but, uh, you know, feel free to, I do check it every once in a while. So feel free to stop by, ask me questions, stop by the stream, hang out. We'll, you know, if you're inexperienced, I'm available to answer any questions or give you some advice. If you are experienced then you know, we can, I'm always down to toss around, uh, ideas or concepts. The other thing you could do is if you really, really want to, um, uh, add some more reassurance, uh, it, it really shouldn't need anything more than this, but if you want, if you have wall uh, wall traps, again, that don't damage or anything, like maybe even, I guess you could do wall spikes or something, but uh, I guess technically you'd, you'd want uh, wall traps that don't damage. You can put them on the outside of these uh, little trap rooms, only because uh, if you have uh, an upgrade line uh, perk on the trap itself that either heals it or increases the health of it. So uh, you could run that and, and give it even some more uh, structure if, if you're really worried about it. But this should work fine. Uh, as far as the lines, uh, the ro rolling lines on the perk recombobulator for the traps, uh, just make sure you have like uh, durability. Um, up to you if you want to use the uh, upgrade reload time or not. Really not necessary, but um, at least durability. And um, I guess it would be personal preference if you want to use the healing over time as the last line or if you want to use the increase building health line as the last line so hope this helps you guys out um and i'll let the rest of the video play out and have a great day